oyster shells are obtained by either DNR or the Oyster Recovery Partnership, and they're stored at Horn Point for a year in order for the organic matter to rot off of them. After that year, they are put through a washer and, and grater, and the clean graded shell is put in these stainless steel cages. And those cages are used so that we can mechanically move large volumes of shell in and out of these setting tanks. So once we would have a clean tank, ORP would fill it with cages, and we would fill it with water. So we dump two to four to five million larvae in here, and we give them basically three days in order to go through that settlement and metamorphosis process. So there's the eye spot, and he's crawling around. He's looking for a place to cement himself. There's glands associated with that foot that secrete a glue or a cement. And once he finds where he wants to stay, he glues himself down, and then he loses his ability to move other than to open and close the shells. At the end of those, to that period, uh, we turn the water on so that they can feed on whatever is in the river. Approximately three or four days after that, we deem them ready to be deployed to a grow out site. And we tell ORP that this tank and this tank and this tank and whatever, generally 10 tanks a day, uh, are ready for deployment. They come down, first part at dawn, pick cages out, load them onto a vessel. The vessel leaves and deploys them to a, a predetermined spot that's been ground through. Uh, the ORP crew cleans the, the tank, puts new cages of clean shell back in it, and tells us, and then we can reset it sometimes the same day. And currently we are doing about 50 tanks a week, or five tanks, or 10 tanks, five days a week.